Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Neomir here with some more Tainted Grail Conquest. If you want to check out my full playthrough of this game so far, you can check out the comments, descriptions for the link to the full playlist. And well, if you're already up to date, then welcome, welcome. Spoilers ahead, we are in the middle of our Pathfinder run right now. And we have the blacksmith with us and apparently we cannot interact with him anymore. So no more rune buying, rune crafting, rune merging until we solve the uh, little boy's quest. Or at least it seems like that. So yeah, he's here. Doesn't seem like we can talk with him. And if we go here to the blacksmith's place by the power of magics. Oh, he's actually not there anymore. He's disappeared from there. Okay, well, he was there, I swear. But anyway, I'm uh, feeling pretty good about the this one, run. I'm just worried about my next run because of, well, <laughs> the fact that the blacksmith's not available and runes are such a big game changer in the first act. But, uh, well, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go into the act three here. We're going for the real boss here, the true boss. So that's gonna be kind of fun. Okay, dear blacksmith dude, you're my follower now. Boss is here, so I'm gonna like do the left side first, then the right side. Uh, it will be pretty good if we can get level 20 before we go for the final boss. Usually we do get there easily. I guess it depends on a couple of things. Like, will he fight with us? Like, I have no idea what's going on. These dudes look nasty though. Let's see, let's see what they are. I have this wonderful mythical run rune. So every enemy has 15% chance to drop a weird candle so we are up to huge amounts of weird candles because of it also we have a lot of runes here that we didn't really merge so we're gonna merge them now there we go uh also let's check what we are fighting here so we are fighting mm. i don't actually see it I don't actually see it. Oh, it's this thing. Blood Drunk. This enemy hits will heal it and increase its damage. Doesn't sound too bad. I'm gonna burn another candle. We're gonna have a huge advantage because of the full burn level here. And hopefully that carries us to victory here. We could grab... Like... But we'll not do. We could uh, change our rune to drop consumables instead, but... We're fine here. Are we fine though? What the heck is this? This is scary. Jesus. This is 150 damage. Wait, why? Oh, okay, I know why. Okay. Whew, what is this? If not played next turn, gain 100% damage. I don't have a good feeling about this. I mean, I can play that and that. I can stun somebody. So if I stun one of them, then they do, then we survive the first round. What the hell is this fight? I'm thinking about uh, like doing insight into protection from this thing. So they will do way less damage. So I think that's the safest play here. We also get up to six and we can like click this and then... Yeah, this makes me quite safe. I'm hoping to draw some... What are we hoping to draw? And actually no. Like... A stunning shout, right. One hundred percent damage next round sounds good as well, so I'm not gonna play that. I did draw the stunning shout, so that's really good. There. Okay. How do we proceed here? I could get one extra block for next round, but then what did I do? Okay, this one deals a lot of damage, though. Ooh, right, 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 right. Right, because of the stunts, I do more damage. So maybe it's better to just remove one here. Yeah, it's probably good. Yeah, let's remove one. There we go. 
and I can like I have two more attacks here, so I can really like dip, dip, uh, dig, dip into another one. Like this is so much more damage staring into my face than I'm used to. So I'm like I got a little bit, you know, taken off guard here, basically. Uh, I don't want to play this just yet. So now I want to kill one of them and then heal on the last one. Okay. Okay, now that's better. One hit only. Okay, that's better. That's better. Okay. Um... I mean, I can do insight and stun this thing. There we go. Smack that thing. There we go. Well, I don't actually have to heal that much. For how much longer do I expect this fight to take? For how much longer do I expect this fight to take? If I play Deadly Lost plus the attack, will I heal for enough? This makes me lifesteal 50%. This will do... 52, like 90 damage. Yeah, it will surely do enough, right? It's not gonna die, though. That's the scary part. Okay. And yeah, we got a full hand of nothing here. <laughs> okay, we can play that. We can play this. I get an attack. 46 to 81. Well, we can play this and still stun it if I need to. Okay. That was insane, actually. That was insane. Okay, another weird candle. I feel like I feel like I get more weird candles than I should. Well, three enemies, each one 15%, so half a weird candle I was expecting. I got the full one, I guess. Uh, hold breath. Reduce the energy cost of one card in hand by one. Wait, what? Well, that's really good. That's broken. What? Rapid attack. Deal 6 hits for 33% damage to random enemy. Each hit reduces enemy's armor by 5. Okay. Refreshing breeze. Gain 1 energy. Offer 25% damage this turn. Okay, this one's just better than that. Because I don't care about 25% damage offer. And we can choose what to use the energy on. Okay, that's really good. That's really nice. Draw one additional card after every fourth card played. Start every combat with three additional cards. Gain one ultimate charge at the start of each round. Uh, this one gives us more flexibility, but only on the start of the combat. This one's good. Draw one additional card every fourth card played. I like that one. Cracked yields. Okay. Merge them. Sure. That one fight, that fight was nasty, dude. Squire, hello there, Mr. Squire. What do you have for me? When you approach this feeble, strange Oh, I remember man, him. You remember something the Master at Arms told you about. The banner of his former lord. The damned eight stars on a burgundy background flag. This is the exact emblem you saw on the remains of a shield carried by a man you met. He was, so he was the Knight of Art Arthurs. He just goes a little bit mad. I've noticed your emblem. Could you tell me more about it? No, I can't. All I can say is that it's meant to remind me of the kingdom I knew. The kingdom I need to surpass with the one I'll build. Getting to more important things. Do you have any rune stones for me? Get a passive skill. Requires one runestone in inventory. Um, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Usually I would just gain some wealth, but... Let's say I'm a little bit scared after the last fight, so if I didn't get proper cards, I would get destroyed first round, I think. So, gain a passive skill, maybe? We can choose which one we give him. Or 
what if I give him a let a mythical rune? Because like at this point, this rune will just give me some extra tallow, right? And instead, we could try to see what do we get here. Uh, no. This is the same thing we got last time. Gain 25% more wealth from every counter. This is really good, though. Okay, so we tried that. And... Wait. And that backfired. But... Uh, if I'm ever gonna give it uh, a uh, mythical rune, it's gonna be where I almost go destroy it in the first turn and give the rune that doesn't do much for us except uh, spit things along. If you played five or more cards in a turn, gain 10 barrier. I'm more and more likely to do this, by the way. Kill for 7 HP. You know what? There we go. First turn of combat, 75 armor. <laughs> no more messing around. Uh, increase damage by 4, plus 500% damage. Reduce armor of, all, armor of all enemies by 10. I could go for damage by 4, but... Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go with that. Okay. So here, 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 I guess. A roaming warband. Oh, there's a milestone here. I mean, uh, sure, we're gonna grab the weird candle here from the milestone. There we go, then go here. <laughs> right, healer and two, whatever. Uh, I should feel confident about this fight. This time, I don't have ultra though, but these... Yeah, these ones can be stunned. Reduce damage for all enemies by 75. Reduce the cost of one random card by two. Okay, I can block all of this, I think. So inside, deep red, double block, block. And we're not gonna play that one. Yeah, and we're still gonna have some left over because we get an extra block now from the passive. Okay, now they're like, dudes, we're gonna do it. Nope, you're not gonna do it. There we go. 175 to 310 damage to all enemies. All for 5 health. There we go. Good, level 16 already. Heavy Cyclone. Deal 1 hit for 200% damage to all enemies. Reduce armor or fall? No. Reduce the energy cost of three cards in hand by one. Now that's an interesting one. If I play this with insight, it will reduce the cost of six cards in hand by one, right? Trap. This turn you gain 50 armor and stun every enemy that hits you. Okay, I feel like this one, right? Reduce the energy cost of three cards in hand by one. Okay. Things are starting to get a little bit out of hand now with all this. Old merchant, hello. An old man strolls among the trees, observing the ground with interest. Oh, hello, wanderer. Yes, I do enjoy strolls through the forest. So yeah, this is always the same dialogue, so we're just gonna skip here. And he sells all kind of garbage. Uh... I mean... I never actually tried using these items. <laughs> Eating this seems dangerous. Its sweet scent causes unnatural dizziness. No longer useful to... Okay, this time I'm not gonna fall for it. Here, take your junk and see around. So each time until now I was just buying all of that. Like, one day when I finish everything, I'm gonna go and find out what that's all about. Hmm... Well, we got some particularly nasty fights now. So, I mean, we have to do them, right? I mean, I have a stronger setup now, so... I don't feel like re-optimizing the runes yet again. Do I even remember these? Stalker. This hand will become tougher when it has less than 50% of its HP. It can reduce your armor and spawn a useless card in your deck. 
Okay, every hit dealt to this enemy will deal one more hit in its next attack. And this enemy attacks everyone on the battlefield. Abomination. It's not actually too bad, is it? Calm Breeze. Reduce the energy cost of three cards in hand by one. Is it better to play it? Is it better to do insight into Calm Breeze or Calm Breeze into insight? So let's see. If I play this thing. I get five discounts, right? Four. No, five. Five discounts. If I play this into this, I pay two here. I pay two and then get six discounts. So that's four discounts. Right? So it seems like it's better to just play this thing. Right, and now my hand's basically free. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so I wanna play... Inside... Wait, oh yeah, we draw a card every four cards we play. Insight into the Brat. Uh, I don't know. Block, although we'll probably stun. Gain 100% damage next round. Yeah, I would like 100% damage next round. Okay, let's play this thing. So do we want to hit? I mean, this one first, then this one, and then one of these two. Although if we get a really strong AoE, we could just like wipe the floor with them. That's also a possibility. This one now deals like... Oh, that's a lot of damage. Just get rid of one of these big dudes. Might also not be a too bad of an idea. Let me see. When it less, has less than 50% of its HP. Like, I could do this first. And then do that. Oh, that was another fourth card. Okay. Okay, let's play this. Yeah, I think that was a good call. I mean... Yeah, I don't want to play that. <laughs> okay, well, that was a decent turn, I if I might say so. Okay, inside, into block, into... I don't know. Into block, into... Deadly Onslaught. No, first this. Deadly Onslaught, good. Uh, double block. Protection from evil, target block. Calm Breeze. I mean, sure, why not? Okay. Block. Ah, uh, Deep Breath. Do we have like... Yeah, I do, right. Okay, let's play this thing. There we go. Uh, right. Okay. I... <laughs> okay. All in. This turn, increase the damage you deal by... Okay, crap. Uh, Inhuman Utterix. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's a good card, but I don't... I, I don't want to grow my deck because, as you saw, it's pretty powerful right now. Inhuman Utterings. Charge your ultimate ability to half of its max charges. Ah, this is also pretty good. But I don't think I need it. Preparation. Increase damage by 10% until the end of combat. That's a good one. But no, we gain 50% chance. Yeah, I'm... Such a good three cards, but... Like, each card that makes me one step longer to draw Calm Breeze is like such a bad thing in my deck right now. It really is, so... Plus we get card shreds, right? So yeah, skip. Increase the damage you deal by 100%. Yeah, I don't know why we would ever play that. Not with this class, right? 
costs one. This one's interesting though, but no, no, no. Let's just skip. Precision. When your energy is higher than three, increase the damage you deal by 200%. Increase your armor with 25. If you have 12 ultimate charges, start each turn with plus two energy. Uh, right. I mean, that's interesting. But... No. Let's just increase the armor by 25. Because at this point... Like, I will surely defeat the enemies. I just need to survive until I do so, right? Okay, forgotten chest. You find a chest with strange markings across its entire... One shall be cursed, for no man can possess this treasure without sacrifice. I'm gonna open you the chest. A sharp stick. We lost one. Okay. After a while, you can't recall precisely what happened. Three healing mixture. Uh, well, not really worth it, but it's okay. Okay, so we got two passive enemies here, so we should be alright, I think. So passive enemies are like healers and debuffers and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is always nice when you have in your open hand together with the Deadly Lust. But it, did this thing even do anything? Not really, right? 200%, so 390 to 180. I mean, it's gonna kill the healer, but that's about it. So it's a little bit crappy, right? To use it now. Protection from evil. So Okay, unless stunned I guess I guess I go for this one first And then the bear bear I mean, I can also stun it We can also do this Yeah, let's do this Let's, let's, uh, let's level up my ult as fast as possible here Right. Uh, okay. Now this is a little bit problematic. This is not a good turn. This doesn't do much because... Yeah. Can I see somewhere how many cards I played already? Rhythm, three. So if I play a card, I'm gonna draw a card. Right. Okay, I can I can inside the last resort here. That's gonna give me two less energy next round though, which is a little bit scary, but Well, I could actually inside the Calm Breeze, then play the Last Resort. Then click the thing. But then what? We're gonna get two energy, whole bunch of cards, which will be relatively cheap. We already have two blocked, though. Oh no, I was wrong. We got three energy. Okay. I mean, that's good. It's not like we're gonna play anything else. Blood Frenzy. Now, now we're talking. Um... Uh, Okay, we got enough. Do we play this or we play that actually? We play that, right? How much? 
115 to 211. So I just need to get rid of that thing. And then we're fine. Well, wrong ordering, but that's fine. Do it. There we go. Target, target block. Okay. So we're already halfway towards the next ult. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, but we're gonna have like one energy next round, right? But that's fine. No, two. Okay. Oh yeah, I only played it once. Uh, draw two cards more. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. We could kill the healer next, I guess. Yeah, I'm wildly not impressed by this thing. Okay. Right. Insight into some energy. This thing. There we go. Can we draw a card? There we go. Nice. Play this thing. Bam. Calm Breeze. Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Calm Breeze. Dip thing. Block. Double block. Uh, right. Four out of three. Um, I mean, I probably can, right? With two onslaughts in, in the end, it would probably be like a crazy idea not to do it. Okay, but this thing is like has a lot of armor, dude. That's that's insane. That's freaking insane. Okay, no, nope, still not there. Okay. Well, that's a tough bear. <laughs> but we got there, we got there. That's the most important. And with this, all these extra items, dude. Quick counter, deal one hit, no, there is a chance uh, and damage, blah, blah. I mean, that's nice. We could use it in this fight, but no. Desperate measures. Discard, this, discard your hand. For each card, heal for 2 HP and gain 2 armor all till end of combat. Exile. Yeah, I don't think we need that. Although it's interesting. It's interesting. Nah. Okay, mysterious witch. Hello there, Mrs. Did you know that the weirdness can sometimes take the shape of our deepest desires or fears? That's how many weird spawns came to be. Ask her to help you hone your skills. What could it be that you think you need? I have to warn you. That nothing is free here. Well, I'm willing to pay. I need weird candles. Requires 10 HP. You will get one weird candle in inventory. I need to forget. Remove up to five cards. Oh boy. Here we go again. So, we, we took the witch on our first playthrough and we removed five crappy cards and we proceeded to do amazing in the run because... Uh, removing five random cards in deck makes you all so powerful, but I think we're fine here. We're, we're fine. We don't need to, like, destroy our health, right? Uh, get a random stat boost. We have enough weird candles, so yeah, let's get a random stat boost. So we lost 10 health and we got 20 max health. Okay, that's, uh, that's ironic. That's very ironic. That's very, very ironic. Okay, uh, let's see. Next thing. Let's go here. To treasure Guardians, I guess so. So what is here? I have no idea what that is. Should I be worried? Four enemies, that's usually a bad thing. Okay, let's see. Items. Draw one card. Okay, increase damage. Okay, do some damage. Okay. Reduces the armor for all enemies by 50 for two turns. Okay, what else do we have? We got three healing mixtures. Okay, let's use one. There we go. Since we are not taking them in fight, probably. 
Right, uh, let's max out the candle. Let's check out the rune stones. 75% ar 75 armor in first round, good. Uh, okay, a lot more damage if you stun enemies. Increase damage by 4. Reduce armor for all enemies by 10. Okay. I think that's good. Polished Elf. Every two turns you always deal maximum damage. I mean, that's interesting actually. So like, instead of doing 12 to 22, every two turns we will do 18. And this is 34, this is 17 on average. This is better on average if you attack every round though, that's the thing. It's just huge how much extra you get from this plus 4 damage. I guess we could reduce the armor, um, remove this armor reduction. But armor reduction is like, kind of important. For the stun tank, so let's go. Let's see what we're up against here. Right. Burning followers. The preacher. This enemy cannot be hurt or stunned. The only thing that can harm it is divine oil. You can obtain this by killing its minions. Okay, this is actually not too bad. Four times one. Reduce armor for all enemies. Right. Can we stun it? We can't stun it. Okay. I guess we play deep red. There we go. And we do that, so now we are covered, right? I guess we can play this. I mean, with this we could stun them. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Right, four times two, okay. Um, hmm. Okay, we got the Calm Breeze in hand. We could play in this thing into Calm Breeze and then play some more cards. Activate the ult. Uh, yeah, we should activate the ult. No, not yet. No. There we go. Mm, 54 to 99. I mean, I could play that. Should we play it now? Just to get a really strong turn here. But my damage like pretty low still, so maybe not. I don't know. I think I'm fine stunning everything here. Four times two, so maybe block everything. You know what? Let's try it. Yeah, it's not enough. Okay, divine oil. Deal one hit for 84 to 154. Only available when facing the preacher. Oh, okay. He has like... Okay. I guess it was the right call then. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, I guess I'm like willing to like, you know, do stronger turns earlier you now. Found what was protected. When you filled yeah, yeah. Three shimmering chest. You can get one. Oh, I'm... Oh. Well, now I'm sorry. In in unlock the new combat slot for items. No. So, as far as I can understand, these are just for the run. So, I think plus two damage is stronger than another slot for items, although that wouldn't be too bad. We already have a lot of max HP, and there is really no way we run into another witch, right? It would be fun if we did, though, but okay. <laughs> but even if we do, if she takes like 75 health, now we're on 45, which is all right. We remove five of the worst cards from our deck. Plus two damage will be insane, though. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay, well, we cleaned half of the act two here. Maybe do 
No, I'm gonna make a cut here. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to play faster, but also make shorter videos so we can cover more content in like uh, more different games, right? But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it, the massacre. It's looking a little bit scary at some points, but we're doing pretty well. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to drop a like, maybe check out some of the other stuff I do. If you find it worthwhile, subscribe. Otherwise, have a wonderful day, be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. The Neomers signing out. Bye-bye.